Hey guys, I'm Juan Poberi, and today it's another video in the series of some of the biggest lessons I got from working with Dan Penny and, and learning from him. Let's get to it. So, hey, welcome to another video. My name is Moan Pober, and if you're new to my channel, I'm basically documenting and sharing my journey following QLA full time for the last few years. I know about Dan Pena uh, from before that, but uh, I think three or four years ago, I can check the exact date. I went to the castle, and since then, that's what I'm doing full time, especially focusing on the growth by acquisitions part of things. So, if you follow QLA, you basically have the mindset side of things. You can say you have two ways to grow a business. You have internal things and then external things, which is growth by acquisitions by buying other companies. Uh, because I think that if you're in the six figure business range, it's probably one of the best things you can do to yourself to go and buy other businesses, your competitors, other complementary businesses, if you want to achieve more revenues, because instead of going and finding one client at a time, why won't you go and buy a business with 100 clients and basically get 100 clients at once and grow your top line much faster. And also, and I talk about it in other videos, but the profits that you can get from cross selling and cost savings is just insane. The profits that it's in the end of the day, it's all going to go back down to your bottom line because there's no acquisitions to acquire new clients and there's only cost savings that you can have and also if you are all about the lifestyle you can buy a business with existing manager who can take over your role as well and that will allow you to become an owner investor so if you want to learn more about that subscribe like comment see the links in the description below if you want to um, submit ideas for videos you basically put your details and i'm creating personalized videos based on your questions so do that right now and also see the link below in the description for you to join our free uh, business buying mastermind on Facebook if you didn't yet. So that's it for the introduction. I want to go through one of the biggest lessons I got from Dan Pena from working with him. You can get all of his content on his website and I'm basically quoting him right now. So the lesson today is thinking it over is for people who can't take action. So what that means right so let's 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 get to it so here's here's what i'm thinking with thinking it over it's basically mostly for people who are perfectionists and many of the people who i see in the space who are trying to get into the space they're very they're, they're very perfectionists they try to have the perfect dream team first before they start they want warren buffett or in their dream team or they want jeff bassos on their dream team and unless they have those people on their dream team they're not taking action they're afraid to talk to business owner they think hey let's first of all research everything out there about what is the perfect letter to write or what are the best events or what are the best brokers or whatever you want to talk about about how to find deals there's so many different things you can focus on but the, what i'm trying to say is they're thinking it over again and again and they're not willing to take action they're not able to take action because they're perfect perfectionist they're always getting ready to get ready um, they're basically, they literally do everything they can to take actions that isn't the most necessary to take. Like they even think about, okay, I can't do anything in QLA because I don't have a three-piece suit. That's one of the things I, I found out as well. Um, but let's, let's dive into more of those things, into what kind of problems I see with, with perfectionism and with this sentence again. And again, the sentence is, um, thinking it over is for people who can take action. So such an important lesson, but let's dive in a little bit more about what that means in the space of growing by acquisitions. And the biggest problem with planning things again and again and not taking action is the fact that you think that you will create this perfect plan and then you, when it's ready, you're going to take that uh, plan and smoothly move your way towards success and become even a billionaire. And that's why I see little people think. And what you need to understand is that I don't care what plan you have. And I'm not even talking about business plan. I'm talking about any plan in life. Uh, and whatever plan you have, I, I don't care what the plan is, you will have challenges because you don't know what's ahead of you. You're preparing for something, but then when you're going to actually take action, you'll see that some of those plans that you had before uh, are not relevant to what's going on right now. I mean, maybe you're watching tens of hours of videos in QLA every day 
and you're planning the exact strategy okay i'm going to send this message to that uh, board member and then i'm going to send this to the business owner and then nothing going to happen uh, and, and then what i see people realize is when they try to take action many times the plan that they planned a few months ago many times from outdated information isn't relevant anymore now in 2018 obviously if you listen to this video in whatever in, in 100 years from now your plans or, or my plans right now are not going to be relevant then probably because everything is going to be different like the ways that used to work in the past to originate deals and find motivated sellers probably aren't the same that's going to work now or maybe they will but it's not effective to to work them right now because there's so many uh, i guess the technology is just different and someone who's not using the internet for example to find deals is just wasting so much time if all you're doing is just walking door to door or just cold calling companies to potentially buy them so some of those nuances that it's just frustrating for me to people to see so many people who want to get into this space but they're afraid to take action and they uh, i guess put a mask to feel good with themselves by saying okay yeah i'm just planning right now i'm thinking who who i need on my board members or i'm thinking about the sector first or i'm thinking about uh, the best deal first or so many little things and excuses that they find to rationalize why they're not taking action and the main reason is that they're just afraid to take action because they're afraid to either fail or they're afraid of success and it all brings us back to mindset if you're afraid of failure or you're afraid of success and you don't have a mentor around you to show you and point you in the right direction and literally it's, it's like thinking about i don't know if some of you maybe did a, uh, a skydiving jump i've done a few of them in the past and the first time you want to do skydiving it's probably one of the scariest things you can do like you're on the plane um it's the first time and you need to be the person who jumped basically from the plane even if you're with an instructor and a mentor now it's funny because for that mentor that jump it's he probably jumped before thousands of times and for him it's just another sunday but he's able to uh, make you calm make you relax help you understand that the process is very simple he's just telling you yeah don't worry just jump and then we just do this to open the parachute it's a very simple process for him because he's been there but for you as someone who's new to this space of business or jumping from the plane you're very emotionally attached you're very overwhelmed because it's the first time you did it but hey that's that's part of life many times i'm sure that you are doing right now very comfortably we're scary at the first time and the same goes here in business and same goes with a lot of things and everyone out there will tell you yeah you need to go and find the next new software to to send whatever to find the best deals or you need the next the specific script to find the best board member or you need a specific script to get the accountants and lawyers and you're thinking oh i don't have those scripts i can't move forward and all of those mumbo jumbo in your head and so much bullshit noise that you literally tell to yourself because you're self-sabotaging yourself and again that mindset stuff guys i remember when i started in business in general yes i i, I saw the books i read the books i went to the seminars i'm talking all the big guys out there and you're thinking oh i know i know the mindset stuff don't worry about that i know that shit. give me the strategy but only after you jump through some of the challenges you understand that the only reason that you didn't jump through that challenge a few years ago was only mindset and that's crucial something that i wish someone would show me in the past and the main reason that you're not able to jump through those challenges is because you don't have a support a, a, an instructor a mentor behind you like that person who's jumping with you from a plane when you're skydiving same process applied to business but for him again the instructor is just showing you yeah don't worry do that do that and small different nuances especially in business can make the a completely different results in the end of the day so think about it like if you're going to jump from a plane doing a skydiving and your instructor would just instructor would give you videos to watch but then it would be like yeah go watch those videos and go and jump good luck and it will leave you to your own to to try and jump uh, the chances of you jumping from a plane and being successful at it will be very small and same goes with business guys i don't care how many events books seminars you go to unless you have the very intense support and accountability to look at literally every step it's going to be really really hard to be successful and you need a, a, a current updated existing 
system that's working now in 2018, not something in 30 years ago. Um, and ideally you have contacts within those things. And if you need the help, that's what me and my team are doing. We can help you with contacts with financial institutions, with uh, how to find those deals in 2018 using technology. And I guess the biggest thing is me and my partners are looking to invest money, but we're only doing that at this stage with companies who are looking to grow by acquisitions. So if you want to see if your companies or your existing company fit the idea of growing by acquisition, you got to be at least six figure business. Otherwise, it's not really a fit yet. Um, so go to moanpower.com forward slash talk and me and my team can help you in our program to show you how to grow by acquisitions. And if needed, we will even invest our capital in our private network capital as well. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. See the description below for links to submit ideas for videos and for you to join our free business buying mastermind. But that's it for today, guys. Don't get ready to get ready. Execute, take action and listen to Dan Pena. Take action, execute, do it now. Um, yeah, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.